Aloha, welcome. This is Natasha. So today I'm going to be using one stamp set, the My Favorite Things Farm Friends. It's a little bit of an older stamp set, but I've been wanting to use these little farm critters for a while now. So I did stamp them out with Versafine and heat emboss them with a clear embossing powder, and then I cut them all out. I am also using my alcohol markers to color in the critters. I will leave the pen caps up on the screen. It's somewhere on the screen. So you can, it's an easy reference if you wanna use some of these color combos on a project yourself. I did super simple coloring. It's just basically two different markers and I'm blending in between just to get my shading, just a little shading. I did leave a lot of the coloring in on this video. So it's kind of a lengthy video. Um, I like to personally watch other crafters color. It just gives me inspiration to uh, do my own pro projects. But I know that some of you are just here just to see how the cards are made and put together. So you can actually skip ahead to 11 minutes and 10 or 15, somewhere around there. 11 minutes and 10, 15 seconds. I will put on music for the remainder of you that want to sit and enjoy the coloring. And I will catch back with you after the coloring's all done. Okay, enjoy.
Okay, so here we are at the ending of the coloring. I'm just adding a little bit of some silver glitter pen to the tractor here just to give it a little bit of shine, give it a little extra, and just a little bit of the BG1 to make it look like the glass is clear. Okay, and we are gonna move on to the cards that I'm gonna be making with some of these critters. Didn't use all of them today, but I will make more cards with the critters and I will post it actually on my Instagram. So follow me over on Instagram as well. Uh, so I did have this little shadow box card that I had already made uh, probably about four months ago. It was for a project and I it didn't work out. So I left it on my desk. So I'm going to be using it now. And if I will be showing another video on how to actually put together a shadow box by Lawn Fawn. Uh, stay tuned for that one. So I die cut out of some pattern paper a little sun and I cut it in half. So I'm using one half on this card and I will be using the other half on another card. I did take a sentiment sh strip. It says, uh, so grateful for you. And I added that on some foam adhesive and attached it to the front of my shadow box. I'm going to be taking a couple of the little uh, trees that I colored in using some double stick, it, double stick tape and adding that to my panel. And then I'm going to be using these little chickies using some double sided tape as well and re just placing them kind of randomly and my focal point is the big red tractor so with the tractor i added some glossy accents just to the window part of the tractor and i'm going to let that dry before i add it on to my panel okay so there it is all dried and i'm going to be just adding it onto one of the little hill die cuts in the shadow box. Okay, and that's basically it. Um, on the finished product, you will see that I did add one more of those little tree pieces on the back part panel of the car. Just, I needed something on the back behind the tractor. So the final product, you will see that I didn't do that until way later. Okay, so let's move on to the next card. I have this white panel here, Nina Solar White, and I am just used this little die cut that I got. I want to say it's from my favorite things. Um, I just cut out a little opening. I stamped my sentiment there. It's always more fun when we're together. And then I'm using this pattern paper. It's actually a Christmas like themed pattern paper, but I like the little plaid paneling in the back this blue plaid kind of reminds me of the sky okay so using a tape runner i'm just going to be placing very gently i didn't press down very hard and i just placed my pa my panel there okay so taking the little cow i wanted it to kind of be like a photograph of two best friends so I'm putting the little cow there and then the little mouse. And it says we're always more fun when we're together. It's always more fun when we're together. So there you go. The other half of the sun, I placed it there behind the panel. Okay. And then this is where I thought the card was going to be done. But I ended up, I have a little, I always keep all of my scraps, whether it's something that I don't use on a card um, I keep everything. So this one was supposed to go on to another card and I saved it. So it's going to be now put into good use here. I'm going to add a little bit of liquid adhesive and attach that behind the mouse. Just kind of lifting the mouse up. The mouse is already glued down. So I'm just having to lift up a little bit, putting the string behind his ear. And then for the balloon part, the heart shape, I am going to be taking some foam adhesive. And then very carefully, I'm just going to be adding that with my tweezers behind the flower. I mean, sorry, the flower, the heart balloon. Oh. And then just for added, I did top it off with some glossy accents to give it that beautiful shine when it dries. Okay, and then that's it. I'm going to put this card on the side to dry. And that's done. Let's move on to the next card. 
This will be the final card actually. So here I have some pieces of, I guess it's like foliage I had cut for a previous card and I had it just sitting on my desk. So I did use up a lot of scraps on my desk again, like I did with the previous card um, video. And I took this little, it's kind of like marbled watercolor pattern paper. And I cut that down to a two inch strip. And I'm going to use my little horsey die cut or my little horsey critter there. Okay, so I'm just going to be taking random color of leaves and I'm going to be placing them down. So my first, the first thing I did was I'm holding that little strip in place and I'm adding glue, liquid adhesive to the leaves in the back just to get it kind of um, dimension. Adding some foam adhesive onto this little watercolored panel and then placing that exactly where I want it on my card. And then I cut off the excess and then I'm going to be placing my horsey as reference and then putting my leaves around with liquid adhesive. So nothing really to it, just seriously putting liquid adhesive and placing a bunch of random pieces of foliage. And all of the, the die cutting that I did with the leaves, I die cut all from scrap paper that I had laying around my desk. So really good use of scraps when you have stuff just laying around your desk. And believe me when I say I have stuff laying around my desk and I always just, it's constantly a reminder that I have to use these card stocks or whatever it may be. So here it is, everything laid out, it looks gorgeous. I'm gonna be putting my little horse right there in the middle. I did also do a sentiment die cut out of gold foiled cardstock. It says, what's up with a question mark. And I that what's up came from a Spellbinders um, die of the month. It's called 24 karat. So adhering that down with liquid, liquid adhesive. And then I'm gonna be popping up my little horsey on some foam adhesive right there in the middle of everything. Okay, and then I just want to show you, that's it for that card. So I just want to show you that there is, I added some shimmer to some of the leaves and the gold foiling. And that's it. Simple. Beautiful. So here are some still shots of the three cards that I made with this My Favorite Things stamp set. Um, I did add some shimmer actually to those trees. And you do see that second tree back there that I didn't place when I was filming. So I hope you enjoyed this card. I hope you enjoyed the coloring. It's, I do enjoy it, but you know, some people just want to get down to business. So um, please like this video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already and follow me over on Instagram. I will be posting more um, cards that I make on Instagram at nwongyuandesigns. All right, mahalo, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ahui ho.